Blueprint for Impact calls on us to acknowledge that the root causes of the challenges we seek to address are actually entrenched in a set of unfair systems, particularly racist systems. Our challenge is to create a very different vision. It's why we aspire to literally put ourselves out of the foster care business. We have um, client voice in order to be impactful in the work that we are doing, in order to move the needle um, in the work they were doing. And so um, having that collective voice will allow us to be able to be a key player in the outcomes of children and families that we serve. With me being on a set income, my kids being home, 24-7, food goes up, bills goes up, craziness goes up because your kids are home 24-7. My three-year-old, his name is Chase, he is very afraid of gunfire. Be a, a, a firecracker, he'll run and he'll say, mommy, they shooting. So my whole thing is to make sure they feel safe and secure wherever they are with whoever they are. The effect of the trauma, we don't always see it or feel it in the faces, but we see it in the choices that um, they're faced with. We see it in the psychological and emotional impact on them. If a mother has to make the choice between going to work and leaving her children unattended, that mother is left with the reality of, if I call off for this shift, my family could be homeless, we could have no food. So I'm gonna take a chance everything's gonna be okay and I'm gonna go to work. Our families do not need financial literacy. It's not about how they spend their money, it's about not having enough money. It is not about making better parenting choices, it's about having better choices. Our challenge and our opportunity is to build a bridge to their insights around what are the most effective ways to ensure that children thrive, that their well-being is supported, and the research is clear, and our history is clear. Families and strengthening families are the pathway to doing that.